In this tutorial, I will show you how to access all of the online teacher resources available through LEAD 21. I also want to show you how you can change the unit, the week, and the day that you're working with right here from the page that you see when you first log in. If you go to the top of your screen, right now mine says placement week, if I click on that drop down menu, I'm able to go to any unit within the LEAD 21 program. I'm going to choose Unit 4. Now let's say I'm actually on Week 2 of Week 4, so I'm going to change that right here. I'm not on Day 1, I'm actually on Day 3. So now that I've done that, I'm able to access all of the resources for Unit 4, Week 2, Day 3. Now if I click on Go to Today, that will take me to the instructional materials based on the e-planner that I set up at the very beginning of the year. If for some reason my lesson planning is off slightly, that will not necessarily work for me. What I want to do is click on Go to e-planner. That will take me to the resources that I've selected for Unit 4, Week 2, Day 3. So if I click on e-planner, that will open another window that provides access to all of those teacher resources. Uh, this shows me that I'm on Unit 4, Week 2, Day 3, Digging Up a Story. On the left-hand side, it will review all of the objectives for this week, for this unit, um, all of my theme vocabulary, all of the skills and strategies. If I scroll down, I can see the theme question for the unit and the focus question for this week, any vocabulary strategies, comprehension skills and strategies. This particular unit is distinguishing fact and opinion. The text feature is highlighted vocabulary, so this helps me determine some of the things that I should be drawing attention to in the theme reader and in the differentiated readers with my students. Um, it goes through word study and phonics, spelling, fluency, uh, the fluency selection for this week. It also will list the differentiated vocabulary for each of the four differentiated groups. Provides a materials list, tells me in the teacher's guide what pages I will be working with, um, where to look for wrap-up, and if I'm using the writing and language arts sections out of LEAD 21, where in the teacher's manual I would find that information. On the right hand side, it's going to provide more information that I can use in my classroom with my kids. Again, this is my teacher's guide here. Uh, this will list practice companion pages that I can access. If I click on this, it will download a PDF document that will scroll to all of the pages that are listed here. So those would be the pages that would be utilized for this week for under my whole group resources. Um, I do want you to notice that with the online resources, there is an intensive practice companion page available and a strategic practice companion page available. Our booklets that we received, our workbooks, are at the benchmark level. So if you're looking for some specific paper pencil work for your kids um, that are intensive or strategic, this is an option for you. This ATE is your answer sheet teacher's edition for the regular practice companion page and then you have the answer page uh, for intensive and strategic. Resource masters would be any graphic organizers, T-charts, anything like that that are referenced in the materials. These are available also as a PDF that you can print. If it has a little printer icon to the, next, to the side of it, it means that you are able to print that right from your computer. Uh, this provides the theme reader, virtual field trip, the inquiry project page, and some games that you can display um, on an interactive projector or if you just have a regular projector this is something that can be um, that you can project for the kids to see when you're um, utilizing this whole group. Under small group resources 
Um, again, it has your teacher lesson guide. It also has a section for English language learners. Um, in the back of each unit um, teacher's manual, there's a small section for English language learners that uh, provides some additional support for those kiddos where English is their second language. Again, there are resource masters that are available for small groups and uh, then Word World Study Station pages um, that are available. Down below, you'll see the differentiated reader for each of the uh, levels. So if this is something that you wanted to project either as a center or if you wanted kids to access this at a small group or on your teacher computer without the kids having to log in, um, this is something that you could set up there. There are also some vocabulary games that are available and as we've talked about before, a lot of our devices require um, or do not have flash player uh, and a lot of these games do require flash. Um, but I, I recommend that you at least give it a try. Um, some weeks the games will work on your devices and some weeks they won't. If it's a game that doesn't require that flash, um, it might work on your um, Chromebook and things like that. So give them a shot. Sometimes they work and sometimes they won't on the particular devices that you have available in your classroom. Um, any writing and language arts resources are listed here. Again, if it has a printer listed, that means that you can print that directly from your classroom. It has resource masters for assessment. And then any other additional resources that you um, might want to use are available here for you to print, to download as a PDF, or for you to just view online. At the very bottom is a section for you to keep notes. So if there are certain things that you used for this particular day, for this particular week, you can keep notes um, just to make it easier for you next year. As I scroll back up, I want to show you the theme reader and what, uh, what you might be able to do with it in your classroom. If I click on theme reader, it will open up a screen that will show the theme reader um, that you can project. There are a lot of different controls that you can use for this. Um, if I zoom out, it will make it smaller so that you can see the whole, uh, the whole book on your page. Down at the bottom, this gives you the option to scroll to pages. If you know um, that you want to go to a specific area in your table of contents, you can choose contents, go to that particular unit, and if I'm really looking at running water, chapter two, I can click on that and it will take me to that page. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. One of the nice things that you can use whole group if you want to have your kids choral reading with you, if you want to have your entire class engaged with this text at the same time at a small um, carpeted area or bring the kids up close to the to the whiteboard, this is a great option for you to use. Anytime you click on these speakers, it will read the text out loud for you and it will highlight as it's being read. And I want to demonstrate that for you. Chapter 2 Running Water, Moving Ice. Water plays an important role in shaping and changing Earth. It is always on the move. If I stop that, if I click on the speaker again, it stops. If there's a certain spot that I want to start again, so let's say that we finished reading this first paragraph and I want to start here, I can click on this. Water on Earth is never used up. As you have learned, it moves around and around in a cycle. I Chapter 2 I still have to click on the speaker again to stop the sound, um, but that gives me an option to stop and start where I, where I would like to as I'm going through this with the kids. Anytime that you see a speaker, you can click on that and it will read that for you. Um, it will always highlight captions if you have um, graphs, charts, any text features, those will be highlighted for you. The water cycle. The water cycle. 
Every time you click on that, it will read it again. Another option that you have is a preview with a coach or online coach. And right now on this page, I can see that um, neither one of those is highlighted. If I go to the next page, I can see now that the online coach is highlighted. This is a great option for kids to do independently um, at a center or at some sort of a rotation. Um, maybe you want your struggling readers to preview this before they come to whole group with you and this is definitely an option. If I click the online coach it's really going to do some instruction and some great things for me um, that the kids can see before they ever come to um, a whole group setting. On these pages you learned about three different ways water can change Earth's surface. Can you name three things that form because of water? Look at the underlined text. Did you name these three things? Now, can you explain how water forms each of these things? As I click on uh, the stop button, it will allow the kids to um, stop and start where needed. Um, You'll notice that it also is highlighting text evidence. Um, the kids, it will sort of review the skills and strategies for the week um, and also will require some text evidence. So it's a great tool for the kids to use. If they're done with this, they can click on the X and it will take them right back to the theme reader. If I go to the next page, you see that preview and online coach are not available. If I go to the contents and go to the Unit 1, Chapter 1, and go to the very first page, so I'm going right to the table of contents, the preview with the coach is available now. Welcome to the preview for Growing and Changing. Growing and Changing has a contents page that shows the chapter titles. How many chapters are in this selection? Did you say four? You're right! The titles of the chapters help you predict what kinds of things you'll read about in this informational text. The first chapter is called Changes Ahead. This chapter might be about changes that could happen in the future. Now you read the titles of chapters two, three, and four on your own. Think about what each of these chapters might be about. The word change shows up a lot in the titles. This is a good clue. Click the forward arrow to continue the preview. Now the kids can click on the forward arrow to move on. This is Chapter 1, Changes Ahead. Look at the photo of the boy tying his shoes on page 10. Learning to tie your own shoes might not be a big change. This just gives you an idea of what the preview with the coach looks like and something that you might want to use with your kids. It's just another option and another great tool that LEAD21 provides for us online. The glossary is also available. If I click on that, um, I can choose a specific word, a specific letter of the alphabet for any of the words that are in the glossary. If I move to a page and it has a glossary word, when I click on that, it will, it will pull up that word. The student has the option to hear the word and then it gives um, the part of speech a definition and use in a sentence. Choose. Verb. To decide. He had to choose which way to go. So in this tutorial I've provided you with some online tools that you can use as a teacher and some of those that might be helpful to your students. I hope that this was helpful for you.